Now, hydrogen bonds are special and entirely different from the other three bonds we just discussed. Hydrogen bonds are not a chemical bond at all. They are what we call an intermolecular force. Inter meaning between and molecular meaning molecules. So intermolecular forces like hydrogen bonds are bonds that form between molecules. So nonpolar, polar, and ionic bonds form within molecules. Hydrogen bonds form between molecules. For clarification, both of these interactions hold things together, but a chemical bond is an attractive force between two or more atoms within a molecule, whereas intermolecular forces are forces that hold two or more molecules together. In this example, we can see the difference in electronegativity between hydrogen and oxygen is about 1.4. So the chemical bond formed between them to make a molecule is a polar covalent bond, right? Since we see here that oxygen is more electronegative, that means that the oxygen atom is pulling more electrons towards itself than the hydrogen. Remember, electrons are negatively charged, so if the oxygen atom is pulling more electrons towards itself, that means it'll be partially negatively charged, more so than the hydrogen atom, meaning hydrogen here has a comparatively positive charge. So now let's say several of these hydrogen oxygen molecules are floating around. The partial negative charge of the oxygen side of one molecule will attract the partial positive charge of the hydrogen side of the other hydrogen oxygen molecule. This is our intermolecular force formed between the two molecules. Hydrogen bonds are a specific type of intermolecular force. To be a hydrogen bond, an interaction must meet both of the following requirements. Number one, the bond must be formed between molecules that have hydrogen in them. No duh, right? And number two, the atom within the molecule it bonds with must be more electronegative by 0.5 or more, such as that seen between the oxygen in one mo water molecule and the hydrogen seen in another water molecule, like we see over here to the right. Now, two things to note about our hydrogen bonds are that hydrogen bonds are very fragile. They're about 1 20th as strong as our covalent bonds. And hydrogen bonds are constantly breaking and reforming. This factoid will come into play a little bit later. Now, let's move on to our check-ins. So keep in mind, this is check-in number nine. So make sure that you're looking at number nine on your assignment. Is the bond between boron and oxygen atoms nonpolar covalent, polar covalent, ionic, a hydrogen bond, or none of these listed? For clarification, here is boron and here is oxygen. Number 10, is the bond between these two molecules nonpolar covalent, polar covalent, ionic, a hydrogen bond, or none of these listed? Number 11, is the bond between carbon and hydrogen atoms here nonpolar, polar, ionic, or a hydrogen bond, or none of these listed? Number 12, is the bond formed between these two molecules, nonpolar, polar, ionic, a hydrogen bond, or none of these listed? Keep in mind that this is just an example molecule. We would probably not find CH3 just floating around in nature. Excellent work. That concludes our discussion on chemical bonds and intermolecular forces.